The ads you're seeing all around that have, that have been running as well, uh, nonstop on television, also on radio. There's a new one that the Warnock campaign has released uh, that shows how people are absolutely confused when they listen to Herschel Walker talk about anything. Uh, and so you have, so if you have not seen this, uh, so trust have, me, so this is not an SNL skit. This is not from Comedy Central. It's actual voters listening to Herschel Walker try to put synthesis together. Watch. You ever watch a stupid movie late at night hoping it's going to get better, don't get better, but you keep watching it anyway? Because the other night, the other night I was watching this movie, I was watching this movie called Fright Night, Freak Night, or some type of night, but it was about vampires. I don't know if you know vampires are cool people. What the hell is he talking about? <laughs> is he serious? Is he for real? But I'm going to tell you something that I found out. A werewolf can kill a vampire. Did you know that? What is he talking about? I never about? knew that, so I didn't want to be a vampire anymore. I wanted to be a werewolf. Oh, my gosh. He's talking about vampires and werewolves right now. <laughs> yeah, y'all serious about this, right? So I've been telling this little story about this bull out in the field. What on cow. earth? And three of them are pregnant. There's no substance. There's nothing. So you know you got something going on. It makes me want to laugh, and then it makes me think we're in trouble. But all he cared about is kept his nose against the fence looking at three other cows that had been blown to him. Now all he had to do is eat grass. This video is ridiculous. I asked 35 seconds of my life I'll never get back. Why would I want someone like that leading the state of Georgia? I was good at it besides so going over to China. Bad air. Unbelievable. So when China gets out good air, their bad air got to move. It's all the same air. Not only does it make no sense, I don't even understand what he thinks he's saying. So it moves over to our good air spaces. <laughs> And now we gotta clean that back up. I sit and watch these on Twitter and I'm like, what the heck is this guy talking about? Like literally, what is he talking about? He's completely unqualified for this really, really serious job. No one's watching this and being like, oh man, that guy's got it together. And sometimes like I read through the comments cause I'm like, is anybody actually understanding or are we just sitting here wasting time? It is embarrassing. Let's call it what it is. It is embarrassing. They just care about getting a yes man. Somebody that had just punched the button. I think it's a risk to me and millions of Georgians to put this man in a position of power. Let's call it what it is. This is embarrassing as hell. At all. I mean, well, you know. Oh. Go. Okay, the sister, she just walked off. Uh, at the end there, uh, let me bring up my pan, Dr. Mustafa Santiago Ali, founder and senior advisor, environmental justice at the EPA, Dr. Jason Nichols, senior lecturer, African American Studies Department, University of Maryland College Park, Randy Bryant, diversity and inclusion strategist, speaker, trainer, and writer. Glad to have all three of you here. Jason, I want to start with you because uh, Herschel Walker does not talk about issues at all. In fact, I have no idea what the hell is he even talking about. Uh, and and this is somebody. <laughs> who wants to be one of 100 United States Senators uh, in, uh, in the United States Senate. Uh, we already have one of the dumbest people ever who also has ties to football, and that's Tommy Tuberville, former football coach who was a senator from Alabama. And we all know how dumb he is. Uh, but when you li the man was talking about vampires and wolves and something about a bull. Jason, I don't know about you. But he shouldn't even visit the U.S. Senate, much less be elected. Yeah, uh, you know uh, how I feel about this guy uh, for many different reasons. Um, character number one, uh, we've had we've had some unintelligent people in public office before, but unintelligent and of poor character is a terrible combination. Um, I don't need to remind anybody about him pulling guns on women and beating people up and not raising his kids. Um, but in addition to that, you know, he and Tommy Tuberville and, uh, you know, Cindy Hyde Smith and, and all of these people, it, it's it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous to, to me that you have a 50 50 race involving Herschel Walker. That's an indictment of the United States of America right now. That really makes me really depressed about where we are as a country. But it's where we are, and we have to hope and pray and hope that everybody comes out and turns out 
uh, in order to elect Senator Raphael Warnock. The, the thing here, Randy, and the reason why, I mean, it is laughable when you watch the video, but when you start talking about the kind of issues uh, that uh, are facing the country, uh, the Land Journal Constitution, I mentioned this yesterday, did a story how he, he refuses to answer any questions about Ukraine, Russia, the billions of dollars that, that we have spent. Uh, clearly, what's happening, the unrest uh, in Haiti. Uh, when you talk about the issue of uh, inflation and gas prices, when you begin to talk about Medicaid expansion, when you begin to talk about health care, I mean, we can go on and on and on. I and mean, this is somebody who literally his answer to the issue of capping insulin at $35 is people should eat better. OK, um, and we could easily say he should speak better, uh, but clearly he's not going back to school. And, 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 and it's no laughing matter because this is who Republicans have put up. They do not care. They have no problem with him being there because they know that they will be leading him around like somebody who's blind. And he's just going to go, OK, OK, OK. We know this. We do know it. I mean, it's absolutely obvious that everyone knows that he is unqualified. He can't help lead this country. He couldn't help lead me downstairs to buy a soda. This man is absolutely incompetent. And it's embarrassing that we are a country that we would consider someone like this to lead us. It also shows that the Republicans have no bottom. They just don't care. Um, about this country as they, sh you know, in a way that they should. They have simply gotten a puppet to move about. And I'm, I'm just almost speechless. I saw today, um, you know, to speak of his character, now his another daughter is speaking out about how cruel he was to her mother and how he has been absent in her life. Um, and people are saying, you're just saying that because you're against Republicans. This is his daughter. When your own flesh and blood says that you are the scum of the earth, what else do you need? What else needs to be said? And I am flabbergasted that people are voting for him, that we are sitting here on the edge of our seats, paying, having to pay attention to this extremely tight race. It does speak a lot about who we are as Americans, how we've fallen, and how we have lost what's important. You know, Mustafa, I, I was sitting here thinking about uh, when uh, that idiot Lindsey Graham was on Fox News saying, the reason they're attacking Herschel because they don't want young black kids growing up being Republicans. And I'm like, no, I know a lot of black Republicans. Uh, and a lot, I know a lot of them, they are sane, they can talk, they don't pull guns on their wives, they don't lie about working for the FBI, and they surely don't pull out a fake badge at a debate. The, but the, but, the, but the, So this has nothing to do with that, but what Republicans in this state have done, they, they've said, in order for us to beat a black man, let's go get another black man, and black folks are not smart enough to discern the difference between the two, and I say, show them on December 6th. Yeah, I agree with you 100 percent. You know, it's really interesting when we look at the candidate that Republicans chose. One, we know that they're there. He's a, a puppet in many instances. We see that uh, when he does interviews, that there is uh, someone to his right and his left in many of those larger sets of interviews that are going on. But then we have to dig a bit deeper because we understand that the Republicans are not serious about engaging with African-Americans on the issues that are most pressing to us and putting up candidates who would actually give real strategic thought to addressing those issues. What we now have is an individual who is very dangerous for both the state of Georgia and dangerous for the country because of all the very significant issues that we have to be able to navigate with the issues that we're going to have to be able to address, whether it is climate change. There in Georgia, some of the top issues that folks are concerned about are, are health care, as you mentioned, or housing, jobs, inflation, education, crime. And, of course, democracy. And, of course, we also know that Herschel Walker has not been able to articulate any type of definitive policy on any of those issues. So that says, one, that Republicans don't care about those uh, issues that are impacting our communities and that they're willing to place anyone in that position whom they thought 
uh, could siphon off some of the votes from Warnock. Uh, and, and Jason, as I said yesterday, if you're going to the United States Senate, you're not just representing Georgia. You're casting votes that have an impact on millions of Americans across the country, and you're casting votes that have an impact on millions of people around the world. Uh, because United States senators, I mean, we're dealing with international foreign policy issues. You're talking about individuals who are going to be on committees, uh, who are going to be, you know, whose responsibility uh, is dealing with major decisions, voting on federal judges, uh, sitting on the bench for a lifetime. And so when you talk about the United States Senate, I mean, the Constitution was written as a way where that was supposed to sort of be at the house of the people's house. Essentially, that's where the crazies are and the sober folks. That's where they go for the United States Senate to be far more deliberate. That's one of the reasons why the House terms are two years. We vote on them every two years, but the U.S. Senate terms are staggered, and they're six-year terms. And this is, that's one of the things that I keep reiterating, Jason, is that this election is so crucial because whoever wins, they're in that position unless they, unless they uh, resign or, or, or pass away. They're in this position for the next six years. Six years. That's, that has to be on the minds of every person. Do I want that person representing me for the next six years in Washington, D.C.? Absolutely. And, and this election is incredibly important for Democrats in particular uh, because the balance, even though there are people out there who say ridiculous things uh, about us not needing Georgia because uh, there's a 50-50 uh, tie in the Senate and you know, with uh, Kamala Harris, that'll be 51. We have to remember that the, the party is basically at the whim of Kirsten Cinema, And if you get Warnock reelected, that takes a little bit of pressure off and we, are, we make her a little less important. And it makes it so that some Democratic ag agenda items can actually get through without obstruction. Um, so this is this race is so incredibly important. And U.S. senators, as you just stated, with them in their in their six year term and in particular for these next two years, we know after that, I, I personally believe that Manchin, uh, even though, you know, a lot of people have issues with Manchin, I think he's the best you're going to do out of West Virginia. He, he could be gone, which means the balance of the Senate for these next two years is crucial incredibly crucial to block an out of control house what, what could be an out of control uh, Republican House majority right now if they get uh, you know past some of the, the hurdles that they have right now the the Senate is going to be the firewall and so it's really important right now that Democrats uh, get Raphael Warnock reelected when you have uh, someone who is as dangerous, not just as a senator, but just as a human being, if you know his story, he's a dangerous person. And why you would put that person who is mercurial in office is beyond me. This is a person who, again, said he wanted to have a shootout with police, put a gun to his wife's head, hasn't raised any of his kids, hasn't seen one of his ch children in seven years, you know, uh, and yet wants to lecture black men about fatherhood. Uh, there's I haven't heard any of his children say anything good about him, like not even like he, he tucked me in at night or what. I, there's I haven't heard any of them, including Christian, who we know is uh, uh, pretty much a very far rea right reactionary Republican. Even he has disavowed his father. I think, as your other guest said, we need to listen to his family and what they're saying about him. They've already stated his character and we know that he is not competent and he doesn't even live in the state that he's trying to represent. All of this should be disqualifying. And I'm hoping that the state of Georgia steps up and uh, makes it known that we actually want smart, sober minded senators. All right, folks, back to that my unfiltered video in just one moment. Don't wait till November 8th. We can vote today. Your early vote started this week. We're on Savannah State University's campus. We will be dorm storming today, giving our treats for everyone. We hope to see everyone at the polls when it comes to November. If you believe we got power, let them know. Make some noise. Put a fist up. 
I need to see a fist in the air because we got power. Come on, you put it up. Come get your shirt. We're out here in the streets of Savannah, Georgia. James, do not forget to go vote. I got you. If we vote, the right people in. We can make a change. We can get these resources in our community. I am a woman, and it is important that we have the say-so of what we want to do with our bodies. We are concentrating on entrepreneurism, providing young people with resources and training that they need in order to change their trajectories. We won't black down. Democracy is on the ballot. Voting rights is on the ballot. Voting suppression is on the ballot. I am most passionate about those three combined because they all impact each other. Savannah is my home. I care about my community, and I care about representation in my community. Our voices are still going to be heard no matter what kind of obstacles try to come up against us to stop us from voting. We're still going to be standing our ground. I see the effort that's being made to keep our communities from voting. So that makes me realize it's even more important because if it wasn't important, they wouldn't be fighting to make sure we could vote. This doesn't stop this year. This is a forever movement. We're going to exert our power as a people. We walk in our rightful place. We're going to change our communities, fight for our communities, and build our communities. Folks, Black Star Network is here. Hold no punches. A real uh, revolutionary right now. Background. Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. I thank you for being the voice of Black America, Roller. I love y'all. All momentum we have now. We have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. You can't be Black-owned media and be scared. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig?